Hey guys, it's Sim Queen, and today I'm doing another speed build for the A to Z build challenge. Uh, I am on letter O, which is just past the halfway point for the entire alphabet. I feel like I'm just speeding through this challenge really quickly, and it's super fun to do. So for the letter O, um, for the longest time I was really stuck. I didn't know what to do, and Normally how this whole process starts is I will research the letter that I'm doing. I type in like types of architecture starting with this letter and usually you can find stuff pretty easily. The letter O was just terrible. Like I couldn't find anything and I was starting to think I'd have to do some kind of architecture that I wasn't familiar with like old one was like old something um, and I was just like yeah that's not very lame just to put the word old in front of something um, and then finally I was actually driving around and I saw a house that was shaped like an octagon and I thought, well, that's weird. And that's when I actually got the inspiration to, to build one. And this one's unique in that I didn't have to do research in order to figure out that I wanted to do this build. Um, I actually just thought about it for a lot, long time, was a little bit stuck, gave it some more time and just happened to see an octagonal house in my, uh, where I live. So. That is what I tried to do. Uh, the house that I actually saw had a little bit of a, um, like a tower type things. As you can see, I'm trying to build that now on, t on the very top level, but nothing was working. I couldn't center it and it was driving me crazy. And I was, I would not accept having it not centered. And so I, I had to ditch the whole thing basically. And so it doesn't have that top, um, I don't even know if you can call it a tower. Yeah, I guess it kind of is a tower, but it doesn't have that, which was a little disappointing for me. It was hard for me to let go of that. You can see me still trying to put that together. And for a while, I kept it like how it is, like an oct octagon shape with like a square roof. And I still didn't like it. So I eventually get rid of the whole thing. I was like, this looks silly with the windows. It doesn't look right. And I just dished the whole thing, so. It's it's not exactly what I wanted to do, but I'm still pretty happy with it And I knew that it would be a bit of a challenge to do a floor plan for an octagon and it really was um, I had to come up with a bit of a story for this house or I guess more of like a family in mind So I was thinking of I am building in Strangerville by the way just because I thought um, The aesthetic would really suit this world um, So I was thinking of like a single lonely old lady who lives here with a cat and that's kind of what I went with um I it's it's kind of a cluttered house when you go in it's pretty small and it's very tight it has uh two bedrooms uh, upstairs I made uh one of the bedrooms just an office space because she does live here alone um so far for the AZ build challenge I haven't really been like coming up with families like I normally do um this is probably the first build for this challenge that I've actually done that where I think of the family that's living in the house and then build it according to that but it really helped me um, come up with kind of the aesthetic and the design and the furnishing for the house so the idea is that it is quite an old house but it's been repainted it's been taken care of um, but the lady has been living here for a very very long time and has collected quite a bit of stuff she's a bit of an older like an old-fashioned kind of taste um, the whole house is sort of outdated I guess you could say um it's definitely not modern that's for sure it's got like all the wallpaper the kitchen is really interesting um I was going for like an open concept like I wanted the floor plan to be all open and then I got this idea to just start adding walls and making it kind of like a maze when you walk in and that's what I wanted to do a lot of my houses are open floor plan just because that's what people generally like and it's easy to do but in this case I thought it'd be a little more realistic if I cluttered it up added some more walls and made it a little a little tighter inside so when you go in um, in, ca in camera mode it's kind of overwhelming because you don't know which way to go um, and I started building slowly adding a couple of walls at once and like I got I did this one and then I had another wall and so before I knew it I just I put walls everywhere so it's a bit then the kitchen is a very weird layout I knew that having an octagonal house was gonna be a challenge for a lot of things and the kitchen was probably my biggest challenge um, just because I didn't know where to put things and what looked silly uh, I did put like a little uh, table and chairs there but there is a formal dining area as well not a formal dining room though the layout of the kitchen sort of um, restricted that back the back area of the house by the back door there I was gonna put the dining room back there but there wasn't a ton of space so I do put a dining table but I would not call it a dining room that's for sure it's just it's very um, it's very cramped back there uh, and then this little kitchen area I actually really like it it's kind of interesting it's kind of weird um, 
It's definitely got like an old style to it, like with the checkered uh, floor, or not floor tiles, uh, wall tiles. I don't even know what to call that. But it's like the black and white theme, um, kind of like a country kitchen almost, but I really like it. I, I think it's, I don't know, I think it's an interesting kitchen. And I'm, I was excited to, to play or test it. I haven't yet. Um, I have put on the gallery already, but usually what I do if something is just doesn't work, I just take it, like I just re- re-upload it to the gallery after I fix something so I will play or test it just because I do want to see how things work I think it'd be interesting to have a sim live in this house and just to play in it for a little bit um, sometimes when I build a house I really get inspired to play in it so I'll just move a sim in and just play around for a day or two just to use everything in the house and see what it looks like I don't know why but um, also I did put the what are those called I don't even know like what do you even call I, I, I have no idea what that is called but the little um, border maybe, like archway type thing. I don't know, it's like fancy little design. Um, I did that in a couple of spots in the house as well, just cause I thought it added a bit of charm. Um, I did put a fireplace, but I forgot to put a chimney on the outside of the house. Um, so when you download it, it doesn't have a chimney. I was gonna add one, but it was it looked ridiculous. So I did not do that. Um, so there's a fireplace, but no chimney. So that's not that realistic, but um, it's The Sims and you can do what you want. So <laughs> that's what I did. Uh, and then I do change the layout of the living room just a little bit. I think I moved a couple of the chairs. Um, this build, I really took my time with it and it ended up being pretty long, um, a bit longer than what I normally do, but the last few builds I've been doing have been smaller. So I tried to do something a little bigger. Um, and then soon you'll see me add in some walls just because I didn't like the open floor concept for some reason. Normally that's what I want, is to make it as open as possible. But this one, it just felt right to be kind of quirky and have a weird floor plan and weird placement of walls, just because it is a strange little octagonal house. Um, so I did put that wall there and then eventually I add more walls. I just went crazy with the walls on the on the main floor here. Upstairs, um, I didn't really change the floor plan that much. There's only so much you can do up there because it is even smaller. Um, then I added a laundry room there and that cut off that backspace even more. But I knew realistically I couldn't put a dining table back there because of that weird little like corner. So I knew that wouldn't work. I thought I'd just throw in a wall in there and make it a laundry room and add like a uh, litter box as well just because I I'm de definitely imagine the woman living here um, having at least one cat, maybe two. I don't see her as like a crazy cat lady but her cat keeps her company. That's how I saw it. Uh, and now you'll see me struggle to find a place for the dining table. Um, and eventually I just put it right next to that window and leave it there. And I know it looks a little weird, but I didn't know where else to put it. And I really wanted a china cabinet, but again, I couldn't find a place to put it. So I saved it for the end and still couldn't find a place to put it. So I don't think it's actually in the final build, um, which is unfortunate because I definitely wanted that. And then I also did do um, wall lights as well. I think they're called sconces. I don't know. I like the way that they look though. Um, the lighting is super natural and it makes it look like, not super natural, but very natural. And it just um, makes your screenshots look a lot better. Um, so now adding another wall and then more of that little archway type thing. I don't even know what to call that, but yeah, I, I played around with this build so much and changed so many things and just kind of went with it. Uh, I really just took my time with it and tried to just enjoy what I was doing, even though I didn't know what I was doing. Um, and then I think I do change a couple of things. Um, that table you saw me place there with like the mirror above it. I think I actually put a bookshelf there instead. I can't quite remember. Um, this floor also does have a bathroom, which I think I'm going to be doing right now. Um, just like a half bath, just a toilet there. And then upstairs there's a full bathroom, but it's like an ensuite from the main bedroom. So it's a little odd, but I don't know. I just, this house is... It's strange. That was the whole idea. Um, I originally wanted to spend more time on the outside than the inside, but it didn't work out that way at all. Um, I wanted to focus more on the landscaping, but that's not what happened. <laughs> By the time I finished um, like building and furnishing the house, oh, I did find a place for the china cabinet. Good. Okay, good. I, I wanted that for sure. Um, yeah, by the time I finished furnishing, I was, I, I was not in the headspace to landscape for a super long time, so I didn't do too much with that. Um, I did put a bookshelf there just because it was more functional, I thought. Uh, a lot of plants as well. Like, yeah, I just thought maybe the lady who, who lives here likes to take care of plants and cats. That's that's not unrealistic at all. And there's a lot of, like, cat condos and cat, um, like, 
sculptures around the house. It's a little weird. She's a little odd, I think. I picture her being like this, what is it, spinster? Is that the word for like an old lady that's never been married? <laughs> I think that's what it is. Uh, but yeah, that's kind of what I pictured. And then I think that's pretty much it for the main floor. Um, just changing out some of the lights a little bit. Oh, and then the laundry room. I didn't do much there, just a washer, a dryer, and the cat box, and then a couple of like little decorations. And I think that's pretty much it. And then I put like an ironing board on the wall. Um, so that's it for the that entire laundry room. It's pretty small in there, but um, I don't know. I like the idea of having a place for the litter box to go, not just like in a common living area. I find that a little odd. Um, so for the upstairs, um, the main bath bedroom, I just kind of went with like a gray theme. And I think this is all the stuff that came with cats and dogs. It just seemed like it suited the build really well. So I just filled up her entire room with furniture. There was really no no theme here. I just kind of did whatever. Uh, and then the, I think the office space is a little odd, but it's it's kind of small. The upstairs was a lot easier to furnish, I thought, than the downstairs, just because the floor plan was obvious to me. So I got that out of the way, and then I was able to furnish it pretty easily. Um, yeah, it's just, it's just it's just a weird room because it's it's way too big, I think. Like I could have made this three bedrooms, I think, but they would have been too small, or I could have done one big bedroom and one smaller one. So if you do have a family living in this house, you could renovate this upstairs into three bedrooms very easily, I think. Um, or you could make the second bedroom bigger so you could have two kids in there. Uh, there's a lot of options, but to me the upstairs is definitely changeable, like you can change anything you want and it won't affect the build that much, like it won't look bad. Uh, and then here I just put in like a really old computer. I can, I can picture her just using it to like pay her bills and that's pretty much it, like not using it for anything else. Uh, like a chair and a lamp, another little cat bed or cat tree thing. And, uh, oh, a keyboard as well. I don't know if that room is completely functional just because it's a little bit cramped, but I will find out if a cat can still go on that little cat tree and if you can still use the keyboard and the computer. Uh, and in the hallway, I just put like a mirror and a, a, a painting, I think. And there's a little backyard area. It actually turns out pretty cute. I did use that big willow tree. Um, the trees I use probably don't match Strangerville that well, but they match the build, I thought. Um, so that's that was kind of more important to me because if you download this house you don't have to place it in Strangerville you can put it anywhere you want so I didn't worry too much about that um, just place some like little bushes around and I think it actually looked pretty cute it turned out pretty good um, the landscaping like I said I did have something grander in mind I wanted to really um, go crazy with the landscaping but by this point I was like just exhausted from building and I had to get on to the next build so I kind of cut it kind of short. Um, I did put like a little patio area at the back of the house with like a barbecue area and a table and chairs. And then there's also like a little space for gardening. I think I put some, um, well there's this little area here with like the bushes and the rocks. And then I also put some planter boxes as well. And lately I've been doing this thing where I just throw random plants into the planter boxes just because they look better than being empty. Um, and a clothesline and I think I just put some more bushes at the back of the house. And that is pretty much it uh, for the octagonal house. If you enjoyed this speed build, please give it a thumbs up, comment down below, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Thank you.